everyone I'm back finally <laughs> I took the summer off to enjoy spending time with my daughter uh, we did a little mini vacay we went you know did a whole bunch of fun stuff around town it was just too darn hot in the soap lab to make soap but since it's starting to cool off I'm back so today we are restocking tea tree and sage soap with activated charcoal this is one of my all-time favorites it's a bestseller i'm excited to make it again i have upgraded some equipment over the summer uh as you saw in like one of my previous videos i kind of just like did a quick little soaping video and whatnot um i upgraded my mold to the woodshop heritage molds and they are fabulous I did promise a review video a while ago, however, I haven't had the chance to get to it because I haven't been making soap. So I want to make a couple soaps in it to kind of really get the feel for it and see how they work. So far, so good. Complete difference from those purple Amazon soap molds I've been using for a couple years. The bars come out great and that's all I'm going to say about that. You gotta wait for the review video to get my innermost thoughts on it so on to the soap i'm going to be splitting it off into three colors per se i say colors in air quotations because the one color is going to be the natural color of the soap batter this one's going to be the activated charcoal and in this container will be the sage powder so yeah in here we have our kaolin clay all ready to be mixed up we have the hard oils melted and cooled down lye water i made last night so it's all room temperature and yeah i think oh and a fragrance oil and not well this is not fragrance oil today it's actually essential oil tea tree essential oil we have the sage powder all organic of course got to be organic and the iron oxide black iron oxide excuse me activated charcoal and avocado oil is what i mixed it in i did do a cute little shorty video of me mixing this together it's called mixology and you'll see it in my shorties playlist right there so i think we got everything together hmm have you ever had one of those moments where you just like, you feel like you're forgetting something? I'm having one of those moments right now, but it's all good. Okay, it's all good. So, let's get to making the soap. Did you guys see? <laughs> Whoops, it just dropped right in there. I'm used to using the other containers 
that obviously is small enough to where that doesn't happen, but that just, that just happened. <laughs> okay. A little behind the scenes, unedited humor of soap making videos. Okay, so this is barely emulsified. I want to keep it nice and fluid, portion some of this off. I almost forgot. I'm going to pour all of the essential oil into this first. Goodness, you take a little break from soap making and you just feel like you forget everything. Goodness. What is next? I'm just going to hand stir that in there. So. That's good there. Portion half-ish. Don't want, really, don't really want too much sage. So in goes the, let's put the charcoal in. Woo! Did you guys see that? I'm not going to scrape that out. I really don't need all of that. I'm going to give this a good blend. Whoopsie. So I'll just be careful with that. I don't really need all of that sage either. It's at a very light trace, so I think it's a good trace for a drop swirl. Drop swirls look best if it's like more of a meat, like a light to medium trace, but this will work. This is, you know, this will look good. It's soap. It will always look pretty. So, yeah, that's a good, that's a good trace right there. You can already start to see some of the swirls from the colors inside the activated charcoal portion of the soap. So I'm going to turn this to the side and use these convenient little hand handles. To knock out the air bubbles. <laughs> I had to think while I was doing that. I couldn't talk. I was like, don't drop the soap. Okay. So now I'm going to kind of a splatter the soap on top, which I've always enjoyed this look. Very like, I don't know, mid nineties kind of thing. That's what it always reminds me of when other soap makers do it.
All right, we're all cleaned up and top is finished and it's gonna get popped into the freezer for a couple hours and it's gonna set out for another 24. And yeah, I can't wait to see what's inside, what it looks like. It's pretty exciting. I'm so glad I got a chance to remake this soap. And yeah, see you back for the cutting.